Yeah, I'm sitting right here. I don't know why my avatar doesn't want to sit. Let me see. Let me try over there. Poor oh. Milton. What's on your hand? <laughs> Is it wedge and cheese or something? No, it was the bag of donuts. Oh, sorry. You can set them on the table because, you know, as long as you wear your hat. Oh, I set them on the table and now they're gone. What? Oh, oh no! No, if you re-log, don't come back. Oh, uh, that means you're going to have to add me to the call and all that. I don't care. The VRP was very, uh, this one guy. Pitney Restaurant. Full okay, service let's try IP. it. Yeah. I'm sorry, what? Which one? Pitney? Whatever one you like. Let's pick one and just go. <laughs> it's real toy guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're giving out Transformers now. What do you want? You want a toy? You want to go see if they have one? Maybe we can buy you one. Just like give us a toy. Forget the Happy Meal. Let's see. <laughs> I don't think they have toys. I think they just have the food here. Dollar menu. Actually, I don't even know if you can buy any of the food. Oh, you got your donut. That's good. Yeah. They have bike raffles. Bike raffles? <laughs> no, that's like, you can put up rent, but like, you can ride it, but I don't think it's just like a restaurant here. Ooh. Right, yeah. Homes for rent. You want to ride? Yeah, let's ride right around. Well, we both put a restaurant, I guess. <laughs> just pick a kid's bike. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they have kid's bike. But, and, gee, they yeah. have, I think, I'm sure they Right, here we go. Okay, Why didn't I get to pick a color? Uh, I don't think it- I never picked my color either. Or I don't think it can. This looks nice around here. There's a lobster ball of rats around there, that's why I'm there. Rats? <laughs> I see that lobster ball. Oh. Restaurant. There you go. Alright, Oh, but- but my Isn't that bucket. nice? Oh, that's a nice picture. Do you like it, Milo? I'm right here, but... Milo, are you there? Wait. Wait. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna go up over the bridge and see if the restaurant is... Oh, there it is. I'm so lost. Thank you, Dad. Alright, I'm at the other place. Just gonna ask them. No, just... In the meantime, you guys can look at other places if you find anything about it. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll wait and see what <laughs> you said. They said they're not open. I don't want to leave Milo alone. Oh, no, don't leave him alone. Hey, Milo, um, do you want to go to Soken while we're waiting for Daddy? They said they're not open yet. Yeah. Do you want to go to Soken and look for some clothes for him since we can't find a stinking restaurant? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're just gonna have to make food. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get make you food. That's it. I'm gonna cook for you. Really? Yes. I promise I'm a better cook than I am a driver. I hope so. We'll all be <laughs> not here. You know what they said? My epiphany. What? Two fifty a person. Oh. Uh, like I said, you know, if you really expensive. want it, I don't. I don't want to really waste money it, like that. We sit there for half an hour and, and eat stuff that might look like cardboard. <laughs> 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 Hello, thank you for eating my fancy cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. just thought it'd be nice to get him a couple more outfits. Here's one riding a bike. What do you think of that? What's that? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to I didn't hear you, I'm sorry. I said, you can find him some casual clothes and I'll find him a suit or something. Oh, okay. okay. Let me see if I can find him. Here's one that says surf. Uh, oh, and here's some overalls too. I don't know what you like. What do you like, kiddo? 
Yeah, can you tell us what you like so we can get you, like, you know, you can get a suit and maybe another outfit. That way you have a couple things. Oh, here's one that says silly and has a monkey on it. And, let's see, game. beyond adorable with a rocket ship. A dinosaur <laughs> going rah! Okay. Nice choice. Gossy. Gossy is a gosling. <laughs> a small yellow gosling who likes to wear bright red boots every day. She wears them when she eats. She wears them when she sleeps. She wears them when she rides. She wears them when she hides. But what Gossie really loves is to wear her bright red boots when she goes for walks every day. She walks backward. She walks forward. She walks uphill. She walks downhill. She walks in the rain. She walks in the snow. Gossie loves to wear her bright red boots every day. One morning, Gossie could not find her bright red boots. She looked everywhere under the bed, over the wall, in the barn, under the hens. Gossie looked and looked for her bright red boots. They were gone. Gossie was heartbroken. Then she saw them. They were walking on someone else's feet. Great boots, said Gertie. Gossie smiled. Gossie is a gosling, a small yellow gosling who likes to wear bright red boots almost every day. That's the end of that one. Do you want me to read you something else? I don't think she thought. What? Oh, he was, he was that when he thought she stole the bright red boot. Yeah, bright red boots. Do you want me to read you something else? No, I don't else? think she thought. kind of shorter. Do you want to just... Or is that okay? What did you say? Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Do you want me to read you something else? I found a silly story. It's called... Invisible Alligators. Asking what you thought. Uh, yes, I did steal them. Uh, he wanted to know what you thought about it, but she never took them back. I guess she decided she was going to let her friend have them. Oh, sorry, Marlo. I was looking for, uh, for a toothbrush for you, and then I got to start to daddy. Okay, here, let me see. I'll give you the uh, website so you can follow along, because there's pictures. Let me know when you got the first page. Do you have it? Okay. For the Red Furries. A young monkey named Sari woke up one morning and knew there was trouble. Uh oh, I wonder what kind of trouble that is. She hopped out of bed and found that the bridge on her favorite castle had been broken in the night. And it took her forever to fix it. Well, forever is a long time. Then she found her stairs covered in toys. Wow, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I think it would be fun if yeah. stairs were covered with toys. Tons of toys. She tripped on one and had to pick them all up. Uh-oh, Daddy. Somebody had to pick up the toys. Do you think it was the Daddy or the Mommy? Or the kid. Or the doggy. A doggy? <laughs> then she couldn't ride her llama to school because the whole herd was running loose. It took her six tries to get them onto a pointy rock so they would calm down and quit trying to eat her homework. Oh my goodness! Llama's eating homework? Now that's something new. I thought it was just a dog, but it must be a llama too. Yeah, I must stay away from llamas. Never go near a llama. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh no, 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 don't say that now. <laughs> 
Oh, everybody is sitting at their desks with the teacher pointing to the chalkboard. She was so late that she missed almost all of her favorite clubs. Algebra too, and her homework was covered in bites and hoof prints. Oh boy, that doesn't sound too good, does it? She'd had enough. Tonight, Sari would put a stop to this. That night, she stayed awake long after bedtime, long enough to hear the rustling of long tails under her bed. Oh, she's looking around. You better not put toys on my stairs, and you better not break my bridge. And you better not put holes in my homework and hoof prints in my homework, or I'm going to be mad. <laughs> she flipped her bed over and found invisible alligators all over her room. How would you know they were invisible if you couldn't see them? Maybe she can... Maybe she just sees it in visible alligators. I'm not really sure. <laughs> what's going on here? She demanded. Mm, I think I'd be saying what's going on here too. Sorry, we're the invisible alligators and we do this for everyone. One alligator explained. We're just trying to help. Let me show you. So she followed him deep into the alligator catacombs. Well, I don't think I'd want to follow a gator down there. They might want to eat me. Ah, I scared myself. <laughs> As they walked, he explained. You see, we cause trouble in all kinds of ways. Well, that doesn't sound like a nice alligator to me. In this house, I'm hiding the remote control. And in this, in this sheep, we'll search his house for a week. Oh, no. And in this house, we're sealing the chocolate cake mix and putting out fresh broccoli instead. Oh, how dare they! I like chocolate! I think I'd cry if somebody stole my chocolate cake mix. How about you, Daddy? Would you cry too? If they stole your chocolate cake mix? Nobody wants their chocolate cake mix stolen. For, so you can. Yeah, they need a time out. Oh, the chocolate mix, and they stole the remote, and they hid it somewhere, and now they can't find it anymore. I think because they are um, mean alligators. I'm not sure. Let's see. And in here, we're singing this hippo to sleep in the bath, so he gets all pruny. I just don't understand why you would do all these things. Sorry, said. Why do we have to have so many things go wrong? Why can't you just make everything right? Yes, good point, the alligator sighed. But let me show you one more thing. And he took her into the invisible alligator. He took her into the main okay, invisible alligator. I think mummy is tired. Uh, into the invisible alligator main headquarters. Well, there's alligators doing all kinds of stuff. This is your book, sorry. All the things listed in this book are the troubles we've caused you and all the things you've learned how to do in your whole life. It was a big book. He looked at her expectantly. Nope, I don't get it, she said sadly, and left the alligator's lair so she could go back home and get in bed. Bye. The stairs leading home were covered in rocks. Sorry it took a moment to pick them all up as she walked so no one would trip and fall. Stupid rock! Oh well, it fell over the cliff. I don't have to pick it up. Ha ha ha. She came to a bridge that was snapped in two. Oh no, what else do these alligators do? What do you think? I don't know. <coughs> they might go snap, snap. Yeah. And a, her and a herd of wild blue goats, which we all know were very dangerous, unless <coughs> someone knows how to herd them onto a pointy mountaintop. Sai didn't even have to think. She knew exactly what to do. Fixed the bridge, herded the goats, piled the rocks out of the way in a safe place, and was safely in bed in no time at all. Man, she sleeps a lot. Fast asleep and dreaming about algebra too. What's this danger? I need my teddy bear to help me. Whoop, whoa, whoa, go back to sleep. <laughs> How did she do it? If you are blessed, maybe the invisible alligators will visit you tonight and cause trouble for you. Oh, please don't visit me. No, no. The end. <laughs> the end. Yay! Yay.
That was great. I found that website again. It was had the um the Wiener Dog Magnet and other stories on, so I can save it and read it. Oh, read it. Yeah, I liked it. I think I might use that too. 